Hey guys, Clint here, back in the horn shop today. I've got a friend who asked me to go ahead and cut the tips off a couple of horns for him and drill the spout hole. This is one step in the process where the probability of screwing things up is pretty high, especially if you're a beginner. It can even happen if you've made hundreds of horns. Thought I'd share my method with you. Maybe you'll find something useful. Let's get busy. The first thing we need to do is determine where the cavity or the hollow of the horn ends and the solid tip begins. I typically use just a, an old coat hanger. Any wire will do. Uh, I try to match the bend of the horn fairly close. Then I just insert it into the horn, mark it against the base with my fingers, bring it out, and see where it winds up on the horn. And I'll go ahead and mark that with a pencil. Typically, I'll check the horn from more than one side. Yes, once I've got it established where the cavity of the horn ends and the solid tip begins, I'll go back and make another mark about a half inch to three quarters of an inch in front of that mark. This is where I'm gonna cut the horn off. Um, a word of caution here. There's a tendency for people to wanna to go an inch or more beyond that cavity. Um, this is one of the biggest mistakes I think folks make in that two things wind up happen one of two things wind up happening either you wind up drilling a crooked spout hole or you wind up drilling out the side of the horn because no matter how hard you try you can't drill a curved hole it's got to be straight uh, and most tips are not that straight on a horn they have a little bit of curve to them so i really you know half to five eighths is, is what i recommend okay. even though i can clean this up after i've got it cut off i I like to cut the horn off as straight as I can. So I kind of just eyeball a straight line around the horn and use it as a guide for cutting. That helps. There. Follow your pencil line. So another way you can mark where you're going to cut the horn off is just to use a piece of masking tape like I've done here. I just ran a piece all the way around. Uh, sometimes I'll even pencil in a line around to help me get straight and then I'll run the masking tape. But here you can see where the cavity ends and where I'm planning to cut the horn off. And on this horn back here, this is where the cavity ends and this is where I'm planning to cut it off. If you don't have access to a bandsaw, a hacksaw works just fine for cutting the tip off. I just come right in behind my tape, start slow. Of course, if you do have a bandsaw, that makes life a whole lot easier. I'm gonna go ahead and use an awl to mark where I'm gonna drill my holes. Hey guys, I, I don't want to try to drill and talk at the same time. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about what I'm going to do. 
Uh, as far as drilling the hole, I typically use a cordless drill. You could do this with a, a traditional, you know, egg beater style drill as well. The horn itself, I, I don't lock it into the vise or clamp it in any way. I just hold it in my left hand. Um, this allows me to turn both the drill and the horn uh, and look at it from various angles very quickly, very easily. Um, I'll drill a little bit, pull it out and look, drill a little bit, pull it out and look. Remember, I'm only drilling five eighths to three quarters of an inch. I can usually eyeball that straight into the cavity. Let's, let, let's give it a try. All right, so I went through a series there uh, from 3 16ths to 7 30 seconds up to a quarter inch. And a quarter inch is where I stop. Let me explain why. Um, one of the things that I like is that it's a small hole and it leaves me some room for error when, when, I'm, when I'm carving. I can always go back and, and open that hole up. A, a little later on uh, after I'm done carving the tip with a, a, a reamer tool or, or the tang of a mill file. Uh, I can even drill it out a little bit more if, if I want to. Um, one thing I do is I keep a, a piece of quarter inch dowel rod on my workbench that I can insert into that hole. Um, and this acts as a nice visual reference for where that hole is um, and kind of a center line for where my spout should be. Um, it allows me to, to carve a tip that's going to have a spout plug that's going to sit nice and straight, not be cocked off to one side, um, and to be able to judge that the end of the horn is nice and even. It's just a helpful tip. Well, there they are. Tips are cut off, spout holes drilled.
Hoping my friend will be happy with these. Hope you found something in this video that's useful to you. Uh, if so, uh, please like and subscribe. If uh, you've got questions or comments, leave them in the comments below. I always love talking hornwork to folks. As always, keep the fire burning.